In this video, I'm going to show you how you can literally download a new GPU. No, this is not a clickbait. This can be done with a few GPUs. For example, I converted my RX 5700 into an RX 5700 XT. And this was all done by a BIOS flash. So as you can see, my computer is recognizing my GPU as 5700 XT, even though this is only a 5700. This is a Dell card. So I flashed it with a Dell 5700 XT BIOS and I got the BIOS from Tech Power Up. After downloading the BIOS, it should look something like this right here. So this is the BIOS that I've downloaded. And in order to reflash the BIOS onto this existing GPU, we're going to need the software called ATI Flash. And not just any ATI Flash, it needs to be ATI Flash 2.93. This is the only ATI flash that works with RX 5700. So what I've done, I've copied the flashed BIOS file that I downloaded into the ATI flash folder. So it's right here. Before you flash your GPU, go ahead and save your existing BIOS by going in GPU Z and pressing this icon right here, save BIOS. And then you can save to file. And you can name it anything. And I have saved mine right here. In a folder, I named it stock 5700 BIOS. So make sure you save that before you reflash to the new BIOS. So in case anything goes wrong, there is a chance that you might be able to reflash back to your old BIOS. So now let me show you how you run this program to flash your BIOS. So the reason we are going to use CMD to flash the BIOS instead of running the actual program is because this program does not let us force BIOS update. Go ahead in your search bar and type CMD and run it as an administrator. And now in the downloaded folder of the ATI flash, we're going to choose the AMD VB flash, not this one. So we're going to go to properties and we're going to copy the location of it. So once the location is copied, we'll go back to CMD. We'll type CD space. Control V for pasting and press enter. And now we're in this directory and now press tab until you see AMD VB flash dot exe. Now hit enter. Now hit enter again. Now hit enter one more time and one more time, one more time. And now we are in the program. So hit enter until it tells you to continue. And now we're ready to use the software to flash our BIOS. Now we can close this. We don't need this anymore. So now to unlock your stock BIOS, you type hit tab tab until you see AMD VB flash.exe because we're in the directory of this program. And now space minus sign unlock ROM space zero means your graphics card, the first graphics card in the PC. Now hit enter. And now it's going to show you that the ROM is unlocked. That means your stock BIOS is unlocked and you're ready to flash it. And now to flash the BIOS, we're going to hit tab until we see AMD VB flash.exe and space minus sign, then F. F stands for we're going to force the BIOS flash and now space and then minus sign P. P stands for that we're going to do a flash and space. And then the number zero for the GPU that we're selecting. And then hit tab again until you see the new BIOS that we're going to flash it to. This is the BIOS that we downloaded. And this is the BIOS that we copied into the directory of this folder. So now this is the command line that you need to flash the BIOS. I'm not going to hit enter because I've already flashed it. And once you do this, do not do anything until it shows you that the BIOS update is complete and restart the PC. Let it take its five to six minutes. Do not touch the PC while it's doing its thing. Once you restart the PC, you're going to see that your display resolution is not proper. That's because the Windows is trying to detect the right driver for the new GPU and the new GPU is the same GPU, but the new BIOS that we have in there. And now just wait until Windows downloads the right driver for the GPU and you're ready to go.